Hi there, welcome back. This is Jennifer Nassi with Learning Leaf LLC, and this is video five of my 30 videos in 30 days series. And we left off yesterday talking about sugar and its role in driving inflammation in the body. And as you're gonna hear me say a whole bunch, inflammation is really what drives most of the disease processes that we can think of, including psoriasis. And so we wanna boot that refined sugar out of there. Uh, what I want to talk a little bit about today, too, is my own personal experience with sugar. I had mentioned how part of this video series was talking about um, where I've gotten off balance and how I need to bring that back. And sugar had slowly but surely started to creep back more into my life of late. And so some of the things I've noticed, it's been completely out of my diet now for probably the last two, three weeks. And I can tell you that my energy is much more sustained. I don't have the mood swings I was having before. I just feel much more even keeled. And for all you ladies listening out there, um, I just started my menstrual cycle. And guess what? The PMS symptoms that I typically would experience, the cramping, the discomfort, the mood swings that come with that, gone. None of that. So that is a clear signal to me that my body is letting me know what it needs and certainly what it doesn't need, which would be all that refined sugar. So today I want to take it a step further with inflammation driving foods and talk about processed foods. So processed foods, a lot of times people think of, you know, maybe microwave meals and things like that, um, but really their range is much broader than that. So processed foods, we're really thinking about anything that comes in a box. Uh, you know, looking at the ingredient list, often the advice I give my clients is ideally there would be no more than five ingredients or that the ingredients that are there, you know what they all are and you can pronounce all of them. Your grandma could pronounce all of them. There's no mystery ingredients in there. Processed foods are full of preservatives, artificial flavors and colorings, all sorts of stuff that bogs down our system. But on top of it, they are heavily processed and refined, and again, they create that inflammation response in our body. Later in this series, we're gonna get talking a bit more about the whole notion of the glycemic index, the glycemic load, really fancy way of talking about how fast foods can spike your blood sugar. And as we mentioned with refined sugar, you know how that can wreak havoc in our system, Part of that is, a huge part of that, is because of what it does to our blood sugar levels. Well, processed foods do that too. Because they are so refined, they don't have the same amount of fiber, they're already broken down and our body can digest them very quickly and they get into our bloodstream faster than um, more whole foods would and it shoots our blood sugar up and our body has to respond quickly then to get it back in balance. Our body is always trying to maintain homeostasis, right? That sense of balance. And so it creates this emergency response in our system and that continues to drive inflammation. So we really want to get back to the most natural whole foods we can. And I know that that sounds incredibly time intensive, but let me tell you, the green smoothie that I had for breakfast, it was full of spinach and organic frozen cherries and raw almond butter and all of these wonderful things that fueled me throughout the whole morning. And it took me probably less than five minutes total to make that smoothie and clean up after myself after. And believe me, I will have a video dedicated to green smoothies because I know there's a lot of curiosity around that. So, but it doesn't have to be this huge process. My kids um, for breakfast this morning, they had amaranth for breakfast. It makes a wonderful breakfast porridge. Honestly, I ran downstairs, I heated up the water, I threw it in the pot. I came upstairs and took care of myself and helped get my kids ready and it was ready to go by the time it was time to sit down um, for their breakfast. So there's lots of things that you can do to make this quick and easy and that is one of the things that my cleanse clients have definitely learned and my individual clients have learned and that you will also continue to learn throughout this video series. So keep in mind uh, when you're looking at what you're buying at the store you know, do you know all the ingredients? Are they the highest quality that you can get? 
you know, are there things in there that you can't pronounce or you don't know what they are? Um, if there are, then that's a no-no. Um, did it come from a plant? Um, did it grow in the ground? Did it come from the sea, such as sea vegetables? You know, then those are the kinds of things that we really want to be focusing on. And we are going to be talking about that more tomorrow as we start talking more about anti-inflammatory foods. So until then, take care and enjoy the rest of your day.